They went, they just spoke the word and preached the word, and signs followed after them. Signs will follow you. In Mark chapter 16, I'm reading from verse 15, and he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. From now on, that is the business we have. That is the work we have. And the Lord will reward you. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. These signs shall follow us because we believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. In the name of the Lord we will cast out devils. All those devils and demonic powers of oppression, of evil, of destruction, of sickness, of death. We cast them out everywhere we go in Jesus' name. Because we believe in the blood of the Lamb. We believe in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We believe in the promises of God. We, we believe in the covenant he has made with his people. We believe that the power, the resurrection power of the Lord abides and rests upon us. And because we believe that the name of Jesus will never, never, never fail. He said, because of the faith in Christ, he that believeth in me, the works I do, he shall do, and greater works than he shall do, because I go unto the Father. That's why, as the brother, the sister, the house fellowship people, and the people in this zone, in this zone of us, we march out together. Everywhere we go, we touch the lives of people. And then we're turning them from darkness to light. We're turning them from righteousness. And we're turning them to righteousness. We're turning them away from Satan. We're turning them to Jesus Christ, the Savior, and the Lord of their lives. And then as they give their lives to the Lord, the change that has come upon us will come upon them. And the turning around that will come upon their lives will be visible. People will know something has happened unto them. If they seek, they'll get here when you pray for them. If they are tormented, harassed of the devil, they get delivered when you pray for them. Because it says, and these signs shall follow them that believe in my name, they shall cast out what? Devils. And they shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. And they shall lay hands on the sick. Tell me the rest. And they shall recover. So then, after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God. And they went forth. They went forth. We're going forth. And when we go forth, we're going to do what they did. They went forth and they preached. We're going forth and we're going to preach. And when they went forth and they preached, they were successful. When we preach, we're going to be successful. Many people were turned to the Lord. And when we preach, many people are turning to the Lord in Jesus' name. A great revival breakthrough broke out. And a great revival is going to break out as we go forth and we preach the word of God fearlessly and boldly and courageously and faithfully in Jesus' name. As they went out, then many people were healed, were sick, and many people were delivered, were oppressed, and many people were saved that were sinners. As we're going forth from this very day, we'll touch the lives of people, and sinners are going to get saved. And backsliders are going to get restored. And the sick, they're going to get healed. And those who are oppressed or demonized, they're going to be delivered in Jesus' name. Great is going to be the glory that is going to manifest through our lives in Jesus' name. And they went forth and preached everywhere the Lord walking with them. The Lord will walk with you. Confirming the, uh, the, confirming the word was signs following. Your word will be confirmed. The word of God out of your mouth will be confirmed in the lives of the people that listen to you in Jesus' name. In Joel, I'm reading from chapter 2. Joel chapter 2. In Joel chapter 2, I'm reading from verse 21. Fear not to land. Be glad and rejoice for the Lord will do great things. Days of revival are coming. And they are starting today. It says, fear not, be glad, for the Lord will do great things. Be not afraid, ye beasts of the field. And for the pastures of the wilderness do spring, for the tree beareth her fruit, and the fig tree and the vine 
do yield their strength be glad then ye children of zion and rejoice in the lord your your god for he has given you the former rain moderately and he will cause to come down for you the rain the former rain and the latter rain in the first season and the floor shall be full of wheat and the fat shall overflow with wine and oil and i will restore and i will restore and I will restore. And I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten, and the canker worm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army, which I sent among you. And ye shall eat in plenty, and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God that has dealt wondrously with you. The Lord will deal wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. And that I am the Lord your God and none else. And my people once again shall never be ashamed. And it shall come to pass after war that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. It comes with the baptism in the Holy Ghost. It comes with the indwelling, the anointing, the enveloping, and the energizing endowment of power from on high. And it shall come to pass after war that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. You are those sons and you are those daughters. The Spirit of God will come upon you. You'll prophesy and preach and proclaim the word of the Lord. You'll encourage other people. You'll admonish other people. You'll teach other people. You'll declare the mind of Christ and the mind of God unto other people. Because as you're saved and sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost, that word will be stored inside you. And when you open your mouth like this, what's of power will come out? What's of deliverance will come out? And words of transformation will come out of your mouth in Jesus' name. These are the promise of the sons and the daughters. And it says you'll prophesy. And then it says your old men shall dream dreams. And your young men shall see visions. And also upon my servants, upon my handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. The Lord will pour his spirit upon you. And when that spirit is poured out, you'll not be staying in one corner. You may lie down in one valley somewhere. You will know that now with the new power, with the new anointing, with the new grace that is coming upon your life, you should not just be sitting down there and say, what am I going to do? Now you know that it's your time to do something. I said it's your time to do something. In Isaiah chapter 52, I'm reading from verse 1. Isaiah chapter 52, verse 1. Awake, awake. Now that the promises of the Lord have come to us, and He tells us this is going to be a new day, and it's going to do a new thing, a new thing in your heart, in your life, in your family, in your, in your church, in your local church, in the church at large. And He says, Awake, awake. Put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, the holy city. For henceforth there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. Shake thyself from the dust, arise, and sit down, O Jerusalem. Loose thyself from the bands of thy neck. Don't let anything or anybody hold you captive anymore, O captive daughter of Zion. For thus says the Lord, ye have sold yourself for naught, and ye shall be redeemed without money. For thus says the Lord God, my people went down a fourth time into Egypt to sojourn there, and their Syrian oppressed them without cause. Now, therefore, what have I here, says the Lord, that my people is taken away for naught, that they that rule over them make them to howl, says the Lord, and my name continually every day is blasphemed. Therefore, my people shall know my name. My people shall know my name. Therefore shall they know in that day that I am he that does speak. Behold, it is I. How beautiful. The life will be beautiful. Your family will be beautiful. 
everything belonging to you that you possess and you yourself you'll be beautiful in jesus name and your feet announcing the gospel and preaching the gospel there is no sorrow and there's there's no deformity anymore everything is not going to be all right in your life and from this day you are okay Amen. i said you are okay Amen. because the past is gone in your life is begotten and resurrection power is coming upon your life how beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publisheth peace, that bringeth good tidings of good, that publisheth salvation, that saith unto Zion, thy God reigneth. The Lord will reign in your life. That's why the Lord is telling us, I come back to where we started, Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1, arise and shine. Go back home and shine. Go back to your community and shine. Let all darkness flee away. Let the light shine in your life and through your life. Arise and shine, for thy light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. In verse 20, thy sun shall no more go down. Neither shall thy moon withdraw itself. For the Lord shall be thy everlasting light. And the days of thy mourning, of thy sorrow, of thy sadness shall be ended. No more sorrow, no more mourning. The people, thy people shall all be righteous. They shall inherit the land forever. The branch of my planting, the works of my hand, that I may be glorified. A little one shall become a thousand. Your house fellowship will grow. Your zone will grow. Your groups and districts will grow. Your church will grow. Your business will grow. Your family will grow. The barren will become fruitful. The poor will become rich. And those who have been downtrodden and unfortunate, the Lord will lift you up in Jesus' name. A little one shall become a thousand. A small one shall be a strong nation. The Lord has spoken it. He will hasten it in his time. And this is your time. Rise up and tell the Lord, arise and shine, arise and shine, arise and shine, a radiant light. That's what the Lord is calling you to from now on for the rest of this year, for the rest of your life. Arise and shine, a radiant light. Talk to the Lord, no more darkness. No more secrecy. No more works of darkness. No more power of darkness. Arise and shine. The Lord Himself has shown us the way of light. Bright, shining light. Come out of darkness. And you tell the Lord, O oh Lord, here I am. O oh Lord, here I am. O oh Lord, here I am. A beautiful life, a shining light, a radiant light, a righteous light, a holy light, a sanctified light, a plain light, open for everybody to see. No more darkness in the thoughts, in the imagination, in the life. In the family, in your business, in your interactions, in your relationship, men and women, men and women, boys and girls, no defilement, no darkness, the pure light of righteous, sanctified living. Arise, shine. Arise, shine. Why will you not shine when Christ, the light of the world, indwells you?
but will you not shine as light when you believe on Jesus Christ, the light of the world? And it shines the bright light of the gospel in your heart. The path of the just is that the shining light shining brighter and brighter unto the perfect day from salvation is moving on to sanctification from sanctification is moving on to the holy ghost baptism looking unto jesus beholding jesus looking at his glory and looking at his majesty Not looking down, not looking around, not looking inward, looking at Jesus. Exalted, glorious, majestic, bright, shining light. And it changes you to the same image of Christ. Until that bright, shining light affects your thoughts affects your imagination affects your mind affects your soul affects your spirit that sh bright shining light affects your tongue affects your language affects your disposition that sh bright shining light affects your relationship between you and your wife between you and your mates between you and your servants and between you and your workers between you and your neighbors between you and the people on the street between you and the women between you and the men bright shining light no more darkness transparent 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 nothing said you wish your wife were not here nothing done you wish your husband will not see bright shiny light transparent holy righteous sanctified light our eyes shine Let all the darkness be of the past, a radiant light, reflecting the light of Christ, radiating the light, the life of the sanctified, and restoring, restoring, restoring the glory that was lost restoring the majesty that was lost restoring the brightness that was lost holiness unto the lord purity sanctification bright shining light of the sanctified a beautiful life a joyous life a happy life a grateful life giving thanks giving thanks and giving thanks giving thanks in everything Even when the brothers of Joseph hit you, giving thanks and all things, that hatred will lead somewhere, will lead you to where you ought to be. Don't worry about it, giving thanks and all things. Even when they sell the dreamer to kill the dream, the midst of the plan and the plot, giving thanks in everything. Even when they tell a lie against you, you cannot shake off 
still giving thanks in all things. And when you are sent to the prison, that's a special prison, though. That's a prison for the VIP. You, of all people, look at the place they sent you, the prison of the VIP, giving thanks, even for that. When you thought they ought to remember you and yet they forget you, giving thanks even at that. You remember that at the right time, a child of God has no regrets. And you can thank the Lord at all times, giving thanks, giving thanks, and 